バイリンガルになりたい人、この話、最後まで聞いてください。だって、if you want to have your dreams come true, then you gotta focus on them every single day, from morning till night, from breakfast till dinner. And that's what I did when I learned Japanese. All day long, I focused on learning Japanese and using Japanese and speaking Japanese and listening to Japanese and reading Japanese and writing Japanese. Uh, from breakfast to dinner,、uh, from、uh, working hard at school to taking a break to talking with my host family. All day long, I focused on Japanese. And after a few months, I would say that I became comfortable with speaking Japanese casually in daily conversation. And for me, that was enough. I was done. I didn't need to focus on advanced Japanese or economics in Japanese. I just wanted to be conversational. So I achieved my goal, right? And so then from Japanese, I moved to the next goal, which was took a few months to figure out what the goal was because what do you do when you achieve your dreams, right? Well, you move to the next dream. And from there, I was like, man, I'd really like to learn photography. So I focused every day on learning black and white photography and I had a blast. I really had fun. And then one day, I was like, I think. I think I get it with the negatives and development and exposure. I kind of like this panorama format with my X Pan Hasselblad camera. I think I'm good. Like, I, I can put this into cruise control now, right? So, I was studying photography for a few years and、uh, taking pictures. I'd take trips to Japan and take pictures too. But then, after living in Japan, I was like, wait a second, I'd like to become a model. <laughs> so, all of a sudden, I became a model and、uh, I was focused on being a fashion model and an actor and stuff like that. I know it's a joke, right? But、um, that's what I wanted to do, and that's what was happening. The only problem with that dream is because it becomes way too unbelievable by then, right? Like my face on a billboard in Shibuya Crossing, Scramble, whatever you want to call it, you know, on the digital Jumbotron, you know, four of them all playing my face at the same time, right? Like that literally happened in like TV shows, movies. Commercials, fashion catalogs, fashion magazines. I did it all and it was a blast. And I wanted to take it to the next level because at the end of the day, I do have my little original product that I made、uh, that teaches you know, California English, right? So I wanted to promote that, right? And I was like, well, man, if I could just get on like TV, then I could promote this little cool little product that I got here, you know? When are you gonna get it? And so then things got complicated for me because I was like waiting for other people to call me for their auditions or whatever. And in the meantime, I had time. <laughs> like a lot of time. So I was like, well, what am I going to do with my time here? Because I'm sitting around waiting for some director to call me, right? Then I realized I could actually take proactive action <laughs> and make my own videos. And so I started to do it, even though、uh, they weren't very good at all. Like, if anybody goes to the history of my YouTube channel, you'll see, like, what the hell were you thinking? You know, like, it was kind of bad. But eventually, you know, long story short, because this is really a long story, I finally started taking YouTube seriously. And I did a video every single day. And when I started doing that, I started to understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and how to get people's attention and how to promote my product, right? So I started practicing by doing every day because I was watching how do you make a YouTube video, right? And I, well, Okay, I'll start doing that. So, like in this video, we're going to be learning about three steps that you can do to make a, a viral YouTube video, right? So, it's like it all of a sudden started making sense. I can like make headlines and thumbnails, and I had content. I have content. I can keep talking for infinity.、Um, but it all needs a plan, it all needs to make sense and some sort of like progression towards a goal, right? Otherwise, Why are we doing anything, right? So basically, I was like, wait a second. So if I do this, put this in the headline, and then if I go to Google Trends or whatever and start seeing what other people are thinking, then I could go in with my thinking and like bridge this gap and introduce myself to the conversation and declare some、uh, facts and like display some authority and then get people to trust me so they come over to my website where they can learn. My three step system on how to learn a second language because that's what I do. I, I did that when I was like 18 years old. I figured out how to learn a second language. And then when you realize there's millions of people, if not billions of people, trying to learn a second language, you realize that you could be 
helpful to somebody somewhere out there, right? So hence, this is why I make the videos that I'm hoping that this is useful for somebody somewhere out there, right? But what are we gonna do next, right? It doesn't matter, it just depends on your goal. And if your goal is to like literally learn English and like become fluent in speaking English, then this is what you gotta do. You gotta listen to real people speak English in real time like I'm doing right now. And if you don't understand everything, that's fine, right? But then maybe you're listening to this, and you're like, wait a second, okay, like language aside, I actually get what you're saying, but what do you mean you gotta focus on your dreams every single day? What does that even mean, right? That means literally doing your dream every single day, no matter what it is, right? If it's it's learning English, if it's uh, learning how to make YouTube videos, you just gotta do it every single day, no matter what, until you get the results that you're looking for. It's that simple, right? So this video could theoretically be the first video that I put up in English, right? I put up other videos, but like, I think I'm gonna make it into a series, right? Now you see how this idea is kind of evolving in my mind as I speak, right? Because I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna make this video, I'm gonna put it up on YouTube, and I'm gonna see what happens. If you guys have any comments, I will read them. If you write the comments in English, I will definitely definitely read them, right? And if you guys have any feedback or ideas for me, then I will think about it, right? But my intention is to basically master YouTube, if that makes any sense. And by master, I don't mean like become uh, the next Mr. Beast. I just mean that I want to be able to master... Well, first of all, and like most clearly, I just need a medium in which to express myself. And I really do think that the culmination of my life with language and visual um, art, for lack of a better word, kind of come together in this medium of video. So I do wanna make videos and YouTube is a perfect uh, open platform that anybody could use to make videos, right? So it just made sense that this is the direction I'm going. Now, hopefully these skill sets, skill sets, skill sets can apply towards other mediums such as like, I don't know, TV shows or movies. It doesn't matter and I'll get there when I get there. In the meantime, I just want to focus on making my YouTube game better. And by doing experiments like this, I'm gonna get feedback that I've never seen before, right? Because up till now, I've been doing like the same thing over and over and I will continue to make those videos as long as they make sense for the master plan, which is to like get as many people to see um, this content as possible, right? So I'm not gonna be making videos that nobody's gonna see, right? I don't wanna waste the last eight minutes of my life making this video and only one person saw it, but I know for a fact that hundreds of people are going to watch this video. So if I'm gonna be of any inspiration to anybody here, then basically, I know at least a few hundred people will get inspired by this, right? But my goal, right, as I said, is to make videos every day so that I can become better at YouTube. I'm gonna look at the analytics, I'm gonna look at the feedback, and I'm gonna make even a better video tomorrow, right? I also wanna keep it simple and I don't like editing, so, <laughs> It's a kind of a challenge and a puzzle to be able to make videos that you don't really need to edit because honestly, I don't like sitting in front of a computer too long. I like uh, being out in the world, traveling, and having fun. But sitting behind a computer and just editing and going command C, command V isn't my idea of a good time, so I don't like to do it ideally. But then again, who else is gonna do it, right? Because I don't wanna pay somebody to have to listen to my voice for like, oh my God, over an hour every day. That would be crazy, right? Nobody would wanna listen to my voice all day like that. So I'm not gonna edit anything. Uh, I'm not gonna have anybody edit anything because I gotta do it myself. I just think ethically speaking, it's the best way to do things. So. In the meantime, Army of One coming out here, talking to at least a million people over my career, if not more. I mean, if I did the math, it's probably more like 20 million or something like that. But who's counting, right? Because it doesn't matter about like numbers, right? My whole thing is about like linguistics and learning a second language, right? But the principles apply. You gotta focus on your dream every single day. And if your dream is to speak English, then part of that dream is to be listening to English all day long, right? I mean, all day long. I mean, we just wasted 10 minutes together and you still got like nine hours and 50 minutes to go. So good luck with that, right? 
But then for me, the journey doesn't end because this video, I'm gonna hit stop and guess what? I'm gonna edit it a little bit. Uh, we'll see where we edit it. We'll see how much I paid attention to my own story because like, man, I don't wanna listen to myself for 10 minutes long, but here we are and this is gonna happen. I'm gonna make a video tomorrow and hopefully it's not gonna be as bad as the one that I made today, right? I'm gonna look at the analytics and we're gonna see what happened. But to dedicate yourself to the dream is the point and to do it publicly really kind of makes it more, oh my gosh, you gotta do it, right? So um, let's see what happens and let's keep the conversation going. If you guys have any comments at all, uh, because I totally talk normally in this video, right? No Japanese, right? Go ahead and comment below, right? And if you have any comments at all, even if they're in English or Japanese, please honestly say them because with honest feedback, I'm able to give you better, uh, concise information. So guys, thank you so much for listening to this. If I've been an inspiration, great, but focus on your dreams, no matter what they are. If you want to become a TikTok star, then you literally make TikToks all day. If you want to become a YouTube star, you literally make YouTubes every single day. If you don't want to be that, then find your dream. You know what I mean? I honestly am surrounded with people that do kind of want to be like YouTube stars or whatever. And the only piece of advice I have for you guys is to, well, uh, use uh, uh, Google Trends and get to know your audience because like literally these videos are for specific people and with specific advice for these specific people, the algorithm just kind of works in your favor a little bit better if you just, uh, as opposed to being like random and just saying a, a bunch of random shit. Like, you know, hashtag love, you know, like let's get specific if we can because you know who you're talking to, you know who your target audience is. So all said and done, keep practicing every single day. And by practice, I don't mean reading a book about how to do it. I mean getting out there and literally doing it. If that means uh, you want to speak English, then you literally have some conversation in English or at the very least, listen to a video like this, right? And if you want to get out there and you want to make YouTube videos, then you literally go out there and you make YouTube videos in the best possible way that you can. I don't know if anybody noticed the two lights on me in the gray background. This is part of the art. This is part of the, uh, uh, the experience expression that I'm trying to do and hopefully somebody enjoyed it. But again, blah, 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 blah. See you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. And oh my God, I really do appreciate the one person that made it to the end of this video. Goodbye.